The video today is sponsored by the Transport for London. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not sponsored by anyone. As always, my videos are just me. Right, so um, I came across this a few times um, and I thought I should raise this to other people out there who are probably getting stung by TFL, also known as Transport for London. So the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, has created this new ultra low emission zone. First we had the congestion charge, which is a part of London that is covered by the congestion charge means every time you go into that zone you have to pay £11.50. Between um, I think 7am until 6pm to reduce traffic. In reality, this is all about making money. It's not about reducing traffic because if you live in London, you'll know that traffic is the same. They narrowed the roads, made them one lane. So in reality, the pollution is far worse than it was because the cars and trucks and buses, they're all stuck and moving at four kilometers or I don't know, four miles an hour. Now, um, recently they've introduced this thing called the ultra low emission zone. Basically, they've chosen a category of cars and vehicles and trucks that don't meet that um, emission criteria. And then any time of the day, 24 hours a day, if they enter that zone, they have to pay £12.50. My biggest gripe with TFL has always been that if you want people to stop using their cars, if you want to reduce congestion, there are plenty of ways around it. They're not doing anything that will reduce congestion. This is just another way of making money. And it is just very, very typical of our current, especially the Labour, which is the left-wing party in the UK, that everything, they want to penalise people rather than providing them with another solution or an option. For example, if you've ever travelled during the day going to London, you'll see that the tubes and the trains are extremely packed Sometimes you have to wait for two, three trains to go by before you can get on. So if they want you to stop using cars and other things, then the best solution would be to create more efficient, more regular, basically good running services. They can also make various big corporations move their buildings outside of London because there's so many people, as I said in my pollution video, who work in the centre of London but have nothing to do with being there. They sit behind a computer and write code or write emails or do presentations. So in my own job, so many of my employees, they always just come to work, sit in the office all day at their desk and then go home. So there's no point. They could work from home, they could, we could put another building somewhere on the outskirts of London so not everyone is commuting to central London. But obviously this isn't about pollution, this is about pleasing the masses and making money. People are just stupid, they think that, oh, it's the rich people who are getting penalised. Well, unfortunately for those stupid people, all the buses, the trucks, the transport, the food that's being brought, everything, when the prices go up, it hits your pocket as well. So anyhow, the reason I'm making this video is I was looking at my bill for the congestion charge zone. So I don't go into the congestion charge zone unless it's absolutely necessary. But with my cars, the number plates are registered. So if I go into the zone, it automatically pays. And I looked and there was about 120 pounds of charges. So I was a bit shocked. And I looked and found out that they have been illegally charging me for the ultra low emission zone where I go in the evenings and it's outside the normal congestion charge zone but it's in the ultra low emission zone and my cars are not uh, sort of included in that category even with the number plates registered when I log into their website it says no ultra low emission zone charge yet they keep charging. So I wonder how many other people haven't realized that they're being illegally charged this amount. And obviously, if you don't ask, you don't get. So when I rang them, 
they're like, oh, we don't know. We'll have to pass it to our accounts team and the back office and they'll figure out what's going on. But uh, obviously, if it's a mistake, it will be corrected. I said, no, it's not obviously it's a mistake. If you enter the car registration number into the um, ultra low emission zone checking software, it tells you that my car. So it is. But it's a government body. So if they take your money illegally, there is nothing. They don't have to pay a penalty. If one of us went and stole £100 from somewhere, we'd be going to jail. But because it's the government or the local government, they can steal people's money and say, oh, it was an error. Blame it on the computer. I can bet there are thousands of people who have these automatic direct debits set up and automatic payments set up that will maybe never find out. Maybe it will be charged £10, £20 here or there that they will not even notice. Because mine was £120, it was a shock because I thought I had not been into the congestion charge zone so many times um, to be paying £120. Um, so anyway, then I also found out that they are, they, I mean, I don't know what the exact number is, but I read an article that they are about £3 million sitting in um, the Transport for London um, sort of balance of people who topped up their Oyster cards and ne never used it or they were tourists and they came and left the country. So first of all, most of these cards are topped up using credit cards. So all they have to do is go back and refund the money to those who haven't used their cards for, I don't know, 60 days or 90 days or whatever. But instead, they're just happily pocketing the money and it's illegal, but nothing is being done about it. So I thought I should make a video. Hopefully someone in the real government will see what these crooks are doing and then come up with a solution to fix it because this is just daylight robbery conducted by our city of London against the people of London. So that's my rant for today. Over and out. Until next time.